how you doing? A uh, long time, no see, <laughs> no talk to you. Um, I've been busy, 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 and uh, this is probably one of the only times I've been able to get myself to sit down recently and do a lock update. Um, I am actually on my way to my loctician's studio. Um, busy morning, and dropping kids off at school and daycare. I'm on my way, finishing my oatmeal in the car. <laughs> Uh, eat when you can eat oatmeal I um, used to eat oatmeal all the time when I was um, in my 20s and um, it it really really helps to suppress your appetite so um, I have gone back to it and found that it's a lot easier to eat healthier for the rest of the day so you know, if it works for you, then it works. <laughs> so we're sticking with it. But um, I am on month, um, I think I'm in month 19. I have lost count at this point. I have to look at a calendar to figure out how long um, I've had my locks. I can't remember most of the time anymore. Um, and I am about six weeks post. I'm six weeks post dealing with, um, you know, fighting postpartum shedding. And um, just trying my best to hold on to the hair that I have. So if you saw one of my latest videos, um, you saw that I've been using this peptide serum from The Ordinary. And um, it has worked miracles, at least from my perspective. Um, I have a whole patch of hair over here that I don't, I don't know that it's ever grown before, but it's literally like another patch of hair. Um, my Ludo's Peak is still kind of struggling, but I, I just have a lot of really nice growth around my um, hairline. And so I'm grateful for that. It's been really, 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 really busy in my life. Um, in addition to me just having some, some health situations that I was working through, um, you know, and working full time and and uh, you know all of my duties with my kids um, I've been helping to kind of caretake for you know family members who have not been well and that's been um, just a lot I've had a lot going on so I haven't really um, been paying much attention to my hair uh, which is great since I have locks <laughs> I've managed to wash them about every two weeks and outside of that, I haven't done much of anything. Um, I've had some events over the past couple months that I've had to attend. And um, really for the first time kind of experienced feeling kind of dolled up with my locks. Because um, you know how, you know, at least for me, um, when I used to always get dressed up, I always felt like I had to have this really special hairstyle. And so um, I've kind of gotten to the place where my locks are enough. They're more than enough, um, which which was a big kind of like self-esteem milestone to hit with my hair. Um, so I have been really, really grateful for that, too. But um, I've just been moving right along with with my lock journey. Um, this is this is like the best time in my life I feel to have locks having small kids and having a baby because they're so little that I have to do with them so um, it's been great I said I, I've been busy I've had a lot of stuff going on but no complaints with my locks no complaints whatsoever um, but I, I am desperately in need of a retightening because I have a lot of new growth everywhere. Not not just this extra hair that has grown in my scalp area and my hairline, but just all over the place. So I'm, I'm always just so grateful um, for my loctician and how hard she works to maintain my locks. Um, every time I get to go to get my hair retied, it's kind of like hitting the reset button. Just with everything. I, I'm starting to think of things in terms of, you know, when when will my locks be retightened? <laughs> How fresh will they be? So, so far, so good. But I'm going to keep on driving. And I'll share a little bit more with you guys soon. 
So I'm back from the my hair appointment now. Um, I feel really good always when I have a retie. Like I said in the car, it's kind of like hitting the reset button for me, or at least that's how I kind of think about it mentally. I came, um, you know, back home. I, I've worked, I've done so many things since then, but just wanted to sit down um, just to share a little bit about my hair. So I know that um, in the car, I told you that I've had like a lot of um, great growth in my, um, my hairline area. So um, just to kind of get up close, so a lot of the, the new growth that I shared, um, you know, in the video, especially over here, I literally had like a whole new section growing. Um, she was able to kind of um, pull that into the locks that I already had. But it may be possible um, if I keep getting a lot of really good growth over here that I might um, end up needing to start a new lock over here, which is it was just so exciting because any, any extra hair I can get in my front area, <laughs> to help me cover my forehead i'm always happy with it um and a little bit of a postpartum shedding update i do have one lock um over here that is like really thin um this one right here so um just from postpartum shedding um i i said i was gonna want to kind of come home and see if i could possibly repair it so I may um, kind of play around with this sometime soon, but if you can see, you see how thin that got? Isn't that crazy? Um, so some, of, a few of my locks did kind of thin out a little bit. I think that's been the first one. I haven't lost any, but this one, um, if I don't get to kind of play around with it in time, this one may possibly not be with us <laughs> for too much longer. And I'll have to kind of regrow it back. Um, but I'm, I'm going to see, I'm going to watch some lock repair videos because I wanted to kind of, um, you know, use it as an opportunity to test out some lock repair skills. So I may possibly work on that. And if I do, I will definitely kind of blog it and update it. But um, pretty much what I'm doing is just continuing the status quo as I always do. Um, I think at this point, I'm pretty much uh, stuck with using this product because I'm afraid to stop using it. <laughs> because I experienced such great growth over the past six months and I'm not sure if it was my body kind of leaving out of the postpartum shedding phase or if it was a serum or a combination of the two. Part of me is thinking it's a combination of the two. So I will continue to use this every night. Probably I should just, um, I think Sephora has, um, like when you buy something on subscription, I don't know if they have it or if anybody has it. This probably be the one product I would need to replenish. Um, I'm not sure what my cycle might be. Maybe every two months, every six weeks, because I make sure to just um, kind of squirt it in my crown area each night. And all I do basically is, um, you know, this is again, the ordinary multi-peptide serum for um, hair density. Am I too close? Let's see. Too close, too far, too close, too far. There we go, I think you can see it. And so I just take about two squirts. It only fills up about halfway. And I usually kind of go in the middle first, just kind of hitting, you know, just really focusing on my scalp, making sure it gets kind of saturated in my scalp area. Then I'll kind of go back one more time and, um, you know, I'm squirting where I part my hair because this is, I have put so much tension on my parts down through the years. I never part this way because that just feels weird at this point, but I always do a left side part and that's what I do every night. So since I just did it, I'm not going to do it again tonight. Um, and something I've also been doing is using chia seed oil, um, which I read about online because I'm using it on my face. Um, I'm, I don't have on any makeup with the exception of a little bit of lip balm and I'm still trying to kind of um, get rid of my dark uh, glass marks. I made a lot of progress, um, but I have a, I have a bit more to go. So I've been using chia seed oil on my face, but um, I read that it's really good for hair. So I used it a couple times, but when I did, um, more so than I think other oils that I've experimented with, it just literally felt like my scalp just drank it up. It was such a, like a wonderful feeling that I felt in my scalp. So I'm probably going to continue to do this maybe about once a week or so, um, and see kind of what comes of that. And I have great news to share. So today my lactician told me that I can stop braiding and banding. <laughs> I was so happy for her to tell me that, um, cause I have braided and banded religiously since I got my locks. So that's a year and a half. I have never skipped it a wash. 
Um, so, you know, as a result of my consistency, I have been rewarded with, um, you know, very even uniform locks. I don't have, you know, bulging and all those different things I read about online. They're just doing their thing. They're growing and they're doing their thing. But I did get the all clear today um, that I can stop braiding and banding. So I'm definitely going to do that. And one more thing, I wanted to give a shout out to Mary. So I had the chance to meet Mary today. Um, she actually saw my sister lock installation video and some of my sister lock videos and decided to reach out to my loctician and um, she ended up scheduling an installation with her and ironically we ended up having an appointment on the same day so um, she was so kind um, and we were just chatting a little bit about hair and things like that and she actually gave me a gift which I thought was so kind I just wanted to um, kind of give her a shout out and um, just kind of show off the gift that she gave me it's kind of like a prayer box um, with a prayer journal so you can kind of you know like write your prayers in here and um, kind of keep your prayers in here kind of like you're you know giving your prayers to God so very symbolic and I thought this was so kind and beautiful um, and so I'm so happy that you found my channel and um, that you found my lactation. Congratulations on your sister like journey. I wish you um, long, healthy hair <laughs> and all the wonderful things that comes from long, healthy locks. So it was great to meet you today. I'm probably going to be washing a little bit more often now that I don't have to braid and band because um, that. I mean, I like the feel of just being able to let water just freely run through your hair. That's like the most wonderful feeling. So to have the water run through my locks, I'm just really looking forward to that and excited about that. I apologize for my jewelry jingling. Um, I have gotten some complaints down through the years on my videos that my jewelry is too loud. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> I do like uh, jewelry that kind of makes noises, almost like this little instrument. It's just uh, kind of like a personal thing. Um, when I was growing up, my mom had a wind chime in the backyard. And so whenever the wind would blow, you would just kind of hear like this beautiful melody. So after that, um, I ended up just really liking, you know, like like jewelry and things like that that make kind of like little type of brassy type of sounds. So I, I it's like a very comforting sound for me. But um, some of you out there don't like it. <laughs> I'm sorry because I usually um, before I film I usually will put my bracelets on different arms so they're they don't clash together and they're not as loud um, but I do have to do um, a jewelry update video soon because I've added some new friends um, to my Tiffany collection um, and I've only done one video but I, I mean I have like a whole little set that I wear as you guys know or that I've added to over time so I, I have earrings now and then I have this third bracelet now, so I have a nice kind of stack. So that'll be for another video, but all of the noise that you hear in the background, that's what it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I don't have any uh, makeup on at all. I'm, this is just me plus um, some Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm because I have been continuing to work on my skincare. And again, that is another video, but... Um, that's a, a deep focus for me in addition to um, my weight loss journey, which I have shared about before. So I'm I'm more so focused on both of those things than I am on maintaining, um, you know, like an aggressive makeup routine. So I'm only kind of really wearing makeup for like special events right now um, and just kind of wearing a little bit, you know, here and there. But this is pretty much me because I'm trying to really even out my skin. I've made good progress and I've got some more progress to make. Um, but again, those are all other video topics, but I'm just kind of giving little snippets here and there so you guys know what has been going on with me. But everything is good. Everything is good here. And I would love to hear how you guys are doing. Just wanted to give you a little update. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Leave me a comment or a question. You know, I always respond. And then I'll do a little twirl around so you can see what my hair looks like right now. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And take care. And I'll talk with you soon. Bye.